Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Birch Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this long spiked v-stitch which creates this wonderful thick fairly solid texture. Uh, it's uh, fairly sturdy, doesn't have a lot of stretch to it and it looks great when it's worked in multiple colors as I've done here. So today we're going to need a five millimeter crochet hook as well as a little bit of yarn. I'm going to be using a worsted weight yarn. It's the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand and there's links to both of these items in the description below. Also in that description you'll find a link, direct link, to the free written pattern which is on richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to say hello down in the comments. Tell me how you would use this stitch in a project. And I hope that uh, you'll subscribe and take a look around. There's lots of free stitch tutorials and crochet patterns. Now our stitch today is worked in rows. We're going to be working in two different colors. So I have my color A here. Uh, we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of three. So today I'm going to begin by chaining 24. And 24. Once you have worked your foundation chain, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the sixth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, five, six. Into that sixth chain, work one double crochet. You're then going to chain one and then back into that same chain, work another double crochet stitch. And what you've actually worked there is going to be our V stitch. A double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into the seam stitch is a V stitch. You're then going to skip the next two stitches into the next stitch, work one V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet, all into the same stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across to your final three stitches. So skip the next two stitches into your next stitch, work a V stitch, and then repeat until you have three remaining. Once you come across to your final three chains, into the you're going to skip the next two chains and then into your final stitch, you're going to work two double crochet stitches, switching to your color B in the final stitch. So work that first double crochet, and then your second double crochet into that same stitch. You're yarning over, inserting your hook, hook yarning over, drop a loop, Yarn over and pull through two, and then to switch to your color B, drop that color A. You'll want to leave it attached for this pattern, so don't fasten off. Place your color B on your hook and pull through. You're now ready to begin row two with your color B. With color B, chain two. Make sure you've picked up the right tail. <laughs> there we go chain two, and then turn your work. We're now going to continue working V stitches. Uh, this time we're going to skip the first two double crochets. So we have the one here, the one here, and we're going to work over top of the next two double crochet stitches and into the chain stitch of a foundation chain down below. We're going to work a V stitch and it's going to be worked as a long V stitch. So what we're going to do is yarn over, bring our hook down, insert it into that chain stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Draw it up to about the height of a half double crochet. 
You're then going to yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Complete your V-stitch into that same stitch by chaining one and working another long double crochet into that same stitch down below, just like so. You're then going to skip the next V-stitch and work another V-stitch once again down into your foundation chain. So there's two chain stitches there. It's not uh, too important which one you're working into, just whatever one is easier for you to see there. And work one V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Repeat that all the way across to your final stitch. At the end of your row two, when you come across to your final turning chain, you're just going to half double crochet into the top of that turning chain. You're then going to drop your color B. There's no need to turn your work. I pull the loop up a little bit. Uh, you may find a stitch marker helpful if you're using a yarn that tends to slip a little bit more. You're then going to go back to the beginning of your row two and insert your hook into the top of that chain two. Pick up the color A that was just down below and draw it up the side. Now you don't want to pull too tight because you don't want it to bunch. You also don't want it too loose. So just make sure that it's just nicely pulled up the side. You're then going to, with your color A that's now on your hook, chain two. You're now all set to begin row three. So with row three, we're going to start by working a long double crochet into the space between the two double crochet stitches uh, two rows below, so of row one. So yarn over, bring our hook down in between those two double crochet stitches of row one and work a long double crochet stitch. You're then going to skip the next V stitch and into the chain one space of the next V stitch two rows below, so the V stitch that's in between those ones, you're going to work a V stitch. So bring your hook down, you're working over top of these two double crochets into this chain one space two rows below and work one V stitch. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next V stitch into your next chain one space two rows below, work a V stitch and repeat that all the way across to your final half double crochet stitch. When you come all the way across at the end of your row three, you'll have one V stitch remaining. You're going to skip that V stitch and then work a long double crochet into the space two rows below between your final two stitches. So you're working a long double crochet. You're then going to work one half double crochet into the top of your final half double crochet stitch of your row two. This time you're going to switch over to your color B again. So drop your color A, place your color B on your hook that should be waiting there for you and pull through. You're then set to work with your color B, chain two, and turn your work. We're now going to begin row four by working a long double crochet into the space between your chain two, so you might need to pull it apart a little bit, in between that chain two and the next double crochet stitch. So just work a double crochet, two rows below, into uh, that space between the chain two and the first double crochet of your v-stitch just like so. You're then going to uh, into the space between the uh, next two double crochet stitches and into the chain one space two rows below you're going to work a v-stitch. So once again reaching down across into the chain one space work one v-stitch. You're then going to skip the next V-stitch 
and once again repeat V stitch into the chain one space of the next V that's two rows below. You're going to repeat this all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of row four, once again, you're going to double crochet into that space that is worked uh, in between the two stitches, two rows below. Long double crochet. And you're then going to work a half double crochet into the top of the chain two, or even in the chain two space of the last previous row. So you're just working a half double crochet into that final stitch or chain two space. You can then pull up your loop a little bit. Do not turn your work, but return to uh, the start of that row four and pick up once again your color A, which is just hanging down here by the side. Place it on your hook and pull through. Now as far as the repeat for the pattern is concerned, that is it. So what you're going to do again is now repeat rows three and four for as long as you would like, chain two, and then working into the space between the two stitches down below, you're going to work a long double crochet stitch. Um, depending on what you like, you can either work on either side of this, just make sure you're consistent as you go. You're then going to skip the next V-stitch into the chain one space of the V-stitch two rows below. Work a long double crochet uh, V-stitch and repeat all the way across. Work your final double crochet and half double crochet. Pick up your next color and turn. So that's it. You're going to repeat your rows three and four for as long as you would like. Fasten off weave in your ends and that's all there is to working this long spiked V stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.